Have you ever wanted to add a hound into your family, but you're unsure on which one's the best choice for you? In today's video, we're going to take a more in-depth look into the Basset Hound and the Dachshund to see which one is better suited to you and your family's lifestyle. Welcome back to the Fenrir Basset Hound Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing these two small hounds. The Basset Hound is a hunting dog that's ancestors have been around since the 6th century. The first breed of dog that has been recognised in the Basset Hound's history is the Laconian Spartan Hound. The Laconian Hound was bred as a scent hound used for hunting. They would track the animal or human until they were caught. St Hubert Hounds were descendants of the Laconian Hounds and they were bred at the Benedictine Abbey of St Hubert in approximately 1000 AD. The word Basset means low which refers to them being low to the ground because of their small legs. The Basset Hound was originally bred by French aristocrats for their incredible ability for scent work. They were used in many hunting outings to track rabbits and hare. The Basset Hound would scare the small animals out of the brush and when the small animal tried to escape the hunt, the Basset Hound would quickly grab them and keep them in their mouths until the hunter arrived. The Dachshund's origin can be traced all the way back to the 15th century in Germany. However, the breed's development properly began in the 17th century. They were bred for hunting badger and their name literally translates to badger dog. The Dachshund was eventually developed into two sizes, standard size and miniature size. The standard size Dachshund was also tasked with hunting wild boar as well as badgers, whilst the miniature Dachshund was tasked with hunting badgers and foxes. Dachshunds were established in America in 1885 when they were first recognised by the American Kennel Club. Dachshunds were also used in World War II. They were used to sniff out bombs and safely dig them out of the ground. They were also used by soldiers to sniff out food for the soldiers to eat. The Basset Hound is a medium sized breed. Male Basset Hounds can stand up to 38 centimetres, which is around 15 inches, and weigh around 34 kilograms or 53 pounds. Males are usually bigger than females and weigh more too. The Basset Hound has a short coat that comes in a variety of different colours, including lemon and white, tan and white, red and white, and tricoloured. They can also come in blue, but this is an undesirable colour in the UK as it comes with health issues. Basset Hounds have short legs. This means they move slower than longer-legged breeds, but means hunters can follow the dogs easier. The Basset Hound's tail stands upright. This meant that hunters could see exactly where the Basset Hound was during hunting. They have wrinkled skin on their faces which sits on their brows when they're hunting and these wrinkles trap the smell of the scent they're hunting so they never forget the scent. Much like the Blood Hound, the Basset Hound has long ears that drag along the ground when they hunt. This enables them to pick up scents from the floor. The Basset Hound should look muscular but never overweight. Dachshunds have certainly been engineered for their hunting purposes. They have loose skin that helps them freely wiggle in and out of badger holes. Dachshunds have ears that hang low close to the ground. This stops dirt and debris from getting inside their ears when they're down the badger holes. The dachshund's legs may be short but they're still powerful. They allow the dachshund to dig and fight badgers. The dachshund, although small, should have a slight muscular appearance in their legs. This helps protect their long backs from being jarred easily. The dachshund should not be overweight. They have deep chests, but their tummy should tuck upwards at the back end of their body. The standard dachshund can grow up to 25 centimetres, which is around 10 inches. They weigh up to 16 kilograms or 35 pounds. The miniature dachshund can stand up to 15 inches, which is around 6 inches, and they weigh up to 5 kilograms or 11 pounds. There are three different coat types of the dachshund. These are wire-haired, smooth-haired and long-haired. All of these coat types come in both the standard and miniature size. Dachshunds can come in a wide variety of different colours. Some include black and tan, chocolate and tan, dapple, red, cream and brindle. In America, the colours Isabella and blue is accepted. However, it's considered as bad breeding in the UK, as these colours can come with health issues. Double dapples or piebalds are also not accepted in the UK, as these also have health issues, including loss of vision and hearing. 
Hey guys, just a really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you didn't know already, that my first published book is officially out and available now. It's called Raising and Training Perfect Puppies, The Missing Secret of Success, where I boil down all of my skill set, experience and knowledge into the pages of this book to help set you up for huge amounts of success with your puppy. If you are interested, there'll be links in the description box below. It's available worldwide on Amazon. I really hope you find it as valuable as I'm sure that you will. But until then, I'll let you get back to the video you were just enjoying. The Basset Hound is a social dog that naturally gets on with everyone. They'd be an excellent choice for dog owners that can commit plenty of time to training. They love to please their owners, so obedience and manners are relatively easy to train. However, they can be difficult to toilet train. They can have a stubborn streak. The Basset Hound has a high prey drive, which means they may not always listen to you if they catch the scent of a smaller animal. It's important that you do not let your Basset Hound off the lead until they have a perfect recall. The best approach to training is consistent, positive reinforcement. Plenty of treats and positive praise will help teach your Basset Hound the correct commands that you want them to do. It's advised to train your Basset Hound in small 15 minute sessions instead of long sessions to prevent them from losing interest and becoming bored. If they become bored with training, they will stop listening to you, which could cause issues in the future. Basset hounds were bred to be working dogs, so they're quite active dogs. They should have around an hour of exercise a day, and they should have plenty of play sessions both in the house and outdoors. It's important that you ensure your basset hound doesn't become overweight. The dachshund is a working dog and is happiest when they have a job to do. They'll certainly take on the role as watchdog to protect their family. Dachshunds are very loyal dogs, however they tend to attach themselves to one particular member of the family. This is usually the person who's spends the most time with them and who feeds them the most. They'll still listen to commands from others in the family and want attention from them, but they will become the selected person's shadow. This causes this breed to suffer from separation anxiety. It's important that you teach your dachshund straight away that it's okay to be alone sometimes and that you will always return home after you leave the house. If separation anxiety is not dealt with, it can lead to unwanted behaviours such as chewing, barking and toileting in the house. Dachshunds are notorious for being difficult to toilet train and I would advise you to take your new puppy out to toilet train every half an hour during the day. Also straight after they've had a play session, eaten or drank anything. The Dachshund is a breed that wants to please their owners. Training in obedience and manners is quite easy, especially with calm, consistent training. Your Dachshund is a sensitive breed and they will look to you for guidance. So it's important when training your puppy that you use positive reinforcement and plenty of praise and treats. Harsh corrections will cause your dachshund to become aggressive or fearful. Dachshunds may be small dogs, but they have big personalities. They love play sessions and daily exercise. They'll require around an hour of exercise a day when they're fully grown. The Basset Hound is a gentle and loyal breed that would be the perfect addition to any family. They're an affectionate breed that recognise the need to be gentle around children. However, they can grow to be big, so you should never leave your Basset Hound alone with children as they could accidentally knock the child over and hurt them. Basset Hounds also make excellent pets for the elderly as they are loyal and loving. It's still important that you socialise your Basset Hound to different people, animals, sights, sounds and smells, so they become polite, well-rounded dogs. This also helps them accept other dogs and animals into the household. It is wise to remember though that the Basset Hounds were originally bred to hunt small animals, so it is best that you don't leave any small animals alone with your dog. This breed shouldn't have any issues with other dogs, as they were bred to hunt as packs together. Dachshunds tend to get on well with children, although they prefer to be around children over the age of five. It's important to teach your children how to look after your dachshund so they do not play too rough with them. Children should not encourage a dachshund to do any exercise or play that requires any jumping as this can harm the dachshund's back. Children should also be taught not to approach any dogs whilst they're eating or sleeping. Dachshunds will love to play fetch with your children or hide and seek and dachshunds are loyal to their family and will become the household watchdog. They will try to defend their family if they feel like they're in danger. Dachshunds were originally bred to hunt small animals, so they do have a high prey drive, so it's generally advised not to have small animals with this breed. That's not to say that your dachshund can't live alongside cats or small animals. If your dog has grown up alongside these animals and been properly socialised to them, they could all live together in harmony. I wouldn't advise to leave your dachshund alone with small children or small animals as accidents do happen.
Both the Basset Hound and the Dachshund would make a good family companion. They're similar in appearance, thanks to their small legs that make them stand low to the ground, and deep chests. Both breeds have big personalities that can make them stubborn. But with calm, consistent leadership, both breeds will become polite while rounded dogs. At the end of the day, these are two breeds that are very similar, and it's down to personal preference as to which breed you choose to join your household. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Basset Hound videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Basset Hound Show.